Ever notice how sometimes your FPS is fine but frame times feel spiky? Or your GPU usage dips randomly even though temps and clocks are solid? That's not your card being weak, that's usually the PCIe bus choking on interrupt conflicts. By default, Windows, GPU drivers, and even motherboard firmware assign interrupts in ways that cause multiple devices to share the same IRQ lane. When that happens, your GPU has to wait its turn while your SSD or NIC screams for attention. The result? Micro stutter, random input delay, or worse, unexplained FPS drops. Today, we're going to fix that. Five steps. Pure PCIe optimization, no fluff. Step one. Advanced MSI Utility V3, beyond just enable. You've probably come across guides that simply tell you to use MSI Utility V3 and tick the MSI Mode box for your GPU. That's the beginner level approach. Here's the more advanced, refined method. First, download MSI Utility V3 from a trusted source. Make sure you're using only safe and verified links. Next, launch the tool as administrator to ensure full access to your system's resources. In the program, find your GPU on the list. Typically, it'll be under Display Adapters, AMD or NVIDIA GPU. Yes, you want to check the MSI mode box, but here's where the real magic happens. Set the interrupt priority to high. Now, if you're running a high refresh rate monitor, something like 144 Hz or 240 Hz and above, make sure to set it to undefined to high. This forces Windows to prioritize GPU interrupts over less critical tasks like storage or network traffic. But don't stop there, go even deeper. Next, look for the NVMe controller in the list, especially if you're gaming on an NVMe SSD. Set the priority here to normal. Then, locate your network controller, whether it's Intel or Realtek. Set its priority to low. This process ensures that your GPU will always get top priority when it comes to interrupts, while the SSD and network card will wait their turn. This is the exact opposite of how Windows is typically set up by default, where these components share priority more evenly, which can cause stuttering. Once that's all done, restart your PC to apply the changes. By doing this, you've just removed one of the most significant hidden causes of system stutter. Step 2. Enable and fine-tune Resizable Bar with NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Resizable Bar isn't just a simple toggle in the BIOS. By default, both Windows and NVIDIA drivers don't fully expose it for every game, which means you're not always getting the optimal frame pacing benefits that it can offer. To take it to the next level, here's how you can fine-tune rebar. First, download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This is the tool you'll need to really unlock the potential of resizable bar. Once installed, open it and search for your specific game profile in the list. Now, head to the section titled Rebar Feature Enable. Change the setting to 0x1 Enabled. This is where you activate the feature in the profile. Next, you'll need to adjust the rebar memory limit to match the amount of VRAM on your GPU. For example, if you have a GPU with 8 GB of VRAM, set this value to 8192. What this does is allow your GPU to access the entire VRAM directly through the PCIe interface, instead of accessing it in smaller, less efficient chunks. This can lead to smoother frame pacing, especially in more demanding titles, as the GPU isn't bottlenecked by the way memory is accessed. While using an AMD GPU, rebar is usually enabled through the Adrenaline software or directly in your BIOS. However, you can still fine-tune parameters like above 4G decoding and rebar size in the BIOS to ensure that these settings align perfectly with your VRAM. While this tweak won't always deliver a massive FPS increase, you'll likely notice a significant improvement in frame time smoothness. It's one of those changes that makes a game feel much more fluid, especially during intense moments where consistency matters most. Step 3. Registry Fix 1. Disable PCIe Native Power Management. 
Windows enables ASPM, or Active State Power Management, on PCIe devices by default. While it's meant to save power, it actually causes a problem. It throttles your PCIe lanes into power saving states in the middle of your game, which can lead to random performance dips and frame drops. Here's how to stop that from happening. First, press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog. Then type RegEdit and hit Enter to open the Registry Editor. Now navigate to this path. Once there, you'll need to create a new D-Word entry. To do this, right-click on the Parameters folder, select New, D-Word 32-bit value, name it Enable ASPM. After creating the D-Word, double-click it and set its value data to zero. This simple tweak forces Windows to keep your PCIe lanes fully active at full speed, rather than allowing them to enter power-saving states when they're not being actively used. Step 4. Registry Fix 2 and 3. Latency and Payload Tuning. Now we're stepping into some deeper, lesser-known tweaks that can significantly improve your system's performance, especially when it comes to latency and data transfer efficiency. Fix 2. Force Low Latency Interrupts. Here's how to do it. Open RegEdit by pressing Windows plus R, typing RegEdit and hitting Enter. Navigate to the following path. HKey Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Control, PCI. Once there, right-click on the PCI folder and select New, DW Word 32-bit value. Name the new DW Word, Interrupt Steering Disabled. Double-click it and set the value data to 1. This simple tweak forces Windows to stop dynamically reassigning interrupts while you're gaming. Fix 3. Increase PCIe payload size for smoother data transfers. In RegEdit, navigate to Create a new DW Word 32-bit value and name it Maximum Payload Size. Set the value data to 512. This is a common and optimal setting for modern GPUs and NVMe SSDs. By setting this to 512, you're increasing the size of each chunk Windows sends through the PCIe bus, allowing for faster, more efficient data transfers. The result? You'll experience smoother streaming in open-world games with fewer pop-in texture issues, as well as better performance in areas with heavy data loads. You should also see improved 1% lows, meaning the stuttering or frame drops that normally hit during intense moments will be less frequent. Step 5. Device Manager – Hidden PCI Bus Tweaks Final Cleanup – Open Device Manager – View – Resources by Type Expand Interrupt Request – IRQ Check if your GPU shares an IRQ with another device, like network cards or SATA controllers. If it does, right-click the conflicting device, disable device only if unused, or move it to a different slot for PCIe add-in cards. And that's it. You've just solved one of the most underrated causes of stutter in Windows gaming, PCIe bus interrupt conflicts. We didn't just tick MSI mode like everyone else. We reprioritized GPU interrupts versus SSD and NIC. Forced resizable bar at full memory scale. Disabled PCIe ASPM throttling. Applied registry fixes for interrupt steering and payload size. And cleaned up hidden PCIe bus power management. The result? Flatter frame times. Less PCIe bottlenecking smoother gameplay across all titles. If you felt a difference, smash that like button, subscribe for more no fluff tweaks, and drop a comment with your rig specs. I'll help you fine tune further.